How's it going out there? My name is Charles Coles. I'm the cinematographer on this documentary production of And In This Corner. It is a documentary about an uh, old school coach, Coach Brooks. As you can see here, the mm -hmm. t-shirts we have here about his gym and about three of his talent that he has. Um, he's got a... Three hopefuls that that's striving for the Nationals. Yeah, and the gym, the gym is about to be closed down. Right. We saw it as a opportunity to expose him and his talent and his coaching abilities and the talent that he has right and um the trials and tribulations and therefore that comes along with boxing and with these three young men that he has right. that he's pushing try to try to push them as hard as they can to achieve you know some some great right. things and right so, right so uh you know we we shot this doc uh with minimal resources with borrowed equipment so, you know, we'd like your support so that, you know, any support you could give us to help us finish. And, uh, you know, it would be grateful. Yeah. You any, know, anything, you know. So Anything you guys could help us out with, we'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thanks. about boxing um, a lot of discipline and dedication and uh, at the time uh, there's a lot of kids out there they need a role model and I wanted to you know be that for them. The first thing we do here it ain't just about boxing it's about discipline. Yes sir, no sir, pants up, shoes tied, good evening. It's about being uh, mindful and positive things with boxing. But when I was out here in this world, before I went to prison, I was the leader. And I was one of the devil's right-hand man. I knew once God got in my life, I knew I would come back out here for society. Yeah, I started around seven years old. My dad brought me into the gym. My uh, granddad was a trainer. And ever since then, boxing just came natural. It's a, uh, it's a family thing, so we just stuck with it, it became a family thing, and ever since then, boxing been my second nature. I usually eat, like, gyros and um, french fries and stuff like that, like, food that'll put weight on me, like, before fights, and, like, I stopped myself from doing that, you know, because, like, my weight be over too overweight, and, like, I, I have to work harder than what I used to have to work. My my first fight with Brooks, I won. You know, I was kind of nervous, you know, cause like I, I didn't think I was in the shape I was in until like I sparred with with some of the other fighters, you know. Then like I started seeing a difference in me, like when I was fighting. My grandfather gave me that name because he felt like I got steel in both of my hands. You let yourself get all out of pocket with you and your little girlfriend and stuff like that. But like I told you, man, that if you're going to take boxing serious, let's take it serious, man. Yo, I, I cherish every fight like you're going to get me to the next level because every fight, you know, it's a learning process, you know. Whether you, you know you're going to take you're a much better fighter than this, your opponent or whatever. I always take my fights, you know, serious. So I never underestimate none of my opponents. You know, I go in there, stick to the game plan so I can pull this fight out. I don't know how y'all do it, but this is how Brooks Boxer do it. 